Welcome students, we are expected to integrate integral negative pi over 3 to pi over 3 pi squared positive 81x cubed multiplied with dx divided by 3 negative cos of modulus of x positive pi over 3. I would like to rewrite this as negative pi over 3 to pi over 3 pi squared times dx divided by 3 negative cos of modulus of x positive pi over 3 positive integral negative pi over 3 to pi over 3 81 x to the power of 3 divided by 3 negative cos of modulus of x positive pi over 3 times the dx now i would like to draw your attention to this function now if i were to take f of x is equal to pi square divided by 3 negative cos of modulus of x positive pi over 3 and i wish to take x to be equal to negative x if i make this substitution here f of negative x will be equal to pi squared 3 negative cos of negative x inside the modulus positive pi over 3. Now, if you have modulus of negative x, it can be rewritten as negative 1 into x, which can be again rewritten as modulus of negative 1 times modulus of x. Modulus of negative 1 is 1, so you are getting modulus of x back again. That is important. Now this means this is again giving us f of x. So this in turn would mean f of x is even. Okay, that is the all important conclusion you need to draw. Now let me go back over here. Now if I were to substitute x is equal to negative x, you, you see, yeah. Okay, let me just show this. So let if I were to take g of x is equal to this function, 81 x to the power of 3 divided by 3 negative cos of modulus of x positive pi over 3 let x be equal to negative x this is going to give me negative x raised to the power of 3 you have an 81 there divided by 3 negative cos of modulus of negative x positive pi over 3 now by the previous uh, argument i am going to get 3 negative cos of modulus of x positive pi over 3 okay that's for the denominator but the numerator will give me negative 81 x to the power of 3 but what is this this is nothing but g of x but on the left hand side you got g of negative x now whenever you have a function like this this would directly mean that g of x is odd so in case of an odd function if you were to integrate it from negative pi over 3 to positive pi over 3 a function which is odd will tend to be equal to 0 so this vanishes so all we need to do is to integrate this go to the next page this is nothing but integral pi over 3 to pi over 3 pi square times the dx divided by 3 negative cos of modulus of x positive pi over 3 now let me take in fact uh, i'm going to rewrite this because of the fact that it is an even function i can rewrite this as 2 times integral 0 to pi over 3 pi square times the dx divided by 3 negative cos of now since the integration is from 0 and x and x is greater than 0 modulus of x is going to be x positive pi over 3 now let me take x positive pi over 3 to be equal to some p i differentiate i get dx is equal to dp now when x is equal to 0 the value of p is pi over 3 when x is equal to pi over 3 you substitute pi over 3 you get the value of p to be as 2 pi over 3 so the limits are going to be 2 times integral pi over 3 to 2 pi over 3 I get a pi square area and then my dx in place of dx it's going to be dp is going to be 3 negative in place of x positive pi over 3 this is going to be cos p so this is what you got I'm going to take pi squared out and I have the limits pi over 3 to 2 pi over 3 now I have a trigonometric identity which is as given as follows cos p is equal to 1 negative tan squared p over 2 divided by 1 positive tan squared p over 2 so I am going to utilize this over here so this is a dp over 3 negative 1 negative tan squared p over 2 divided by 1 positive tan squared p over 2 so you distribute it so this is going to be 2 times pi squared limits are pi over 3 to 2 pi over 3 dp over this is uh, 3 times of 1 positive tan squared p over 2 negative of 1 negative tan squared p over 2 divided by 1 positive tan squared p over 2 now you flip it let me go to the next 
sheet of paper. If you were to flip it, this is going to be equal to 2 times pi squared, 1 positive tan squared p over 2 divided by 3 positive 3 times tan squared p over 2, negative 1 and positive tan squared p over 2. This is what I get. Now, I can add 3 with negative 1. The denominator will be 2. And I can add 3 with the tan squared p over 2. That's going to be 4 times tan squared p over 2. Numerator is 1 positive tan squared p over 2 times dp. The limits are pi over 3 to 2 pi over 3. And you have 2 times pi squared. Now, let me take 2 out. If I were to take 2 out, I get 1 positive 2 times tan squared p over 2 and the numerator is 1 positive tan squared p over 2. You have a dp there. Okay. The limits are pi over 3 and uh, 2 times pi over 3. The 2 and the 2 can be cancelled. Now there is an identity. Secant squared t negative tan squared t is equal to 1. Therefore, secant squared t is equal to 1 positive tan squared t. S Translate this to p over 2. So that's going to be pi squared. Limits are pi over 3 to 2 pi over 3. And uh, this is going to be secant squared p over 2 divided by now you have 2 times tan squared p over 2. So I want to take 2 out. If I were to take 2 out, this is going to be 1 over 2 positive tan squared p over 2. Okay, into dp. Now let me substitute tan p over 2 to be equal to some u. Differentiate this, I get secant squared p over 2. Differentiate p over 2, you get 1 over 2. Differentiate p, you get dp and you get du. Push this 2 to the other side, you get 2 times du. Over here, you get secant squared p over 2 times dp. So in place of this, substitute this. So this is going to be 2 times p squared. I'm not going to touch the limits now. Just to substitute du there. And rewrite 1 over 2 as 1 over root of 2 whole squared. Okay. And uh, already we have a 2 there. So you divide that by 2. And then you got positive tan p over 2 is u. So this is what you have got. Okay. And this 2 and the 2 that we are getting, they would get annihilated. And this is what we've got. Now coming to the limits, when you substitute pi over 3, you substitute, okay, when p is equal to pi over 3, what is u? This is going to be u is equal to tan pi over 6. Tan pi over 6 is what? That's tan 30, sin 30 and that is going to give you 1 over root 3. And this is going to be 2 pi over 3. So you substitute that value, what do you get? Tan pi over 3 will be here for the top limit. So that's going to be, uh, therefore u is going to be 60 there. So the value of u will be root of 3. So the limits will be 1 over root 3 to root of 3. That will, Those will be the values. Now if you were to integrate this, let me go up here and I'll show you. If you were to integrate this, this is similar to dx over x squared positive a squared, which is going to be 1 over a tan inverse of x over a, right? So I'm going to utilize the same concept. So this is going to be pi squared and uh, 1 over a, so 1 over root 2 times uh, tan inverse of uh, u over 1 over root 2, right? The limits are 1 over root 3 to root of 3. So I substitute the upper limit, so you get pi squared root of 2. Upper limit substitution will lead me to tan inverse of root of there is a 1 over root 2, so you flip it, you get root of 2 times the root of 3 minus the lower limit, upper limit minus lower limit. Lower limit is uh, tan inverse of 1 over root 3. So this will go up to the numerator, so root of 2 over root of 3. This is what I've got. Now this can be rewritten as pi squared times root of 2. In fact, I can rewrite... Uh, root 2 can be taken out. So this is going to be root of 2 with a pi squared there followed by tan inverse of root of 2 into root of 3 root of 6 negative tan inverse 
of this is root of 2 divided by root of 3. So that is the end of this solution. Thank you.